Hey everyone welcome back again. I am presenting you the complete After Effects course for absolute beginners. In this series, there will be small tutorials covering important aspects of After Effects. So if you are just starting up, then this series is for you. We will bring a new video every week. So make sure to subscribe to this channel, and turn on the notification so you don't miss any of the episodes. This week, we are going to learn about the user interface of Adobe After Effects. In case you don't have After Effects installed yet, then you can download it from the link in the description. So let's get started. When you open After Effects software, it will show this welcome screen. If you scroll down below you will find all of your recent projects. Simply click any of them to open. In this left corner, we have this open project option, where you can open your saved projects. Right above it, we have this new project button. Click on it, and it will show the interface of After Effects. Let's take a look at the user interface. This is your project window, if you place your mouse cursor on any of the panels, and then press this toggle button on your keyboard, it will show it on the full screen. Press it once again to eject from the full screen. You can enlarge any of the panels just by pressing the toggle button. This is going to be helpful when you are working on complicated projects, and have hundreds of layers. In this project window, you will import all your files related to the project, as well as the layers. You can simply right click here, and choose the options, such as create a new composition, new folder, or even import. You can also hover over any icon to see how it works. Let's go to the effect controls, and here you will manage all the effect settings of your layers. In case any of the windows are not available here, you can simply go to the window, and choose the panel name. I am using the effect controls, and it will show up once again. Now, this is the timeline, where you will manage all of the layers as well as the keyframes. We will see it in our upcoming videos. Right here I have this effect and preset panel, where you will find all the effects. Right next to it, we have the character window. Just click on it, and you can choose fonts for the text layer. Right here we have this paragraph and align panel. If you grab and drag any of the panels from the name, you can attach it with another panel, to make a separate group. Now I have character, and then the paragraph panel. Let's grab this effect and preset, and align it right here. You will find this dark blue kind of block, when you align any panel to the edge of another panel. You can place it anywhere you want, but I am going to place it right here. And this is how the workspace looks now. You can make any panel bigger or smaller, just by dragging from the line. In case you want to increase the size of the timeline area, you can simply click here, and drag it to change its size. We also have predefined workspace presets that you can use. Right now I am in the standard workspace. You can also edit any workspace such as their name, as well as the look. I have made several workspaces for my After Effects software, and if I click any of them, it will replace the saved workspace I have created. So in the upcoming tutorials, I may use this workspace, so do not get confused, because everything works the same, just the placement is different. Let's switch back to the standard workspace. If you are using multiple displays, then you can right click on any of the panels, and choose undocked panel. It will allow you to freely move this panel on the screen. You can place it on your second monitor, and keep working on the after effects. Let's close this panel, and for bringing it back, we need to go to the window, and then effect and preset. Just select the name of the panel which you need, and it will show up. Let's align it right here, and this is the basic interface. We will cover the media files in the next video. Thank you for watching, I will see you at the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace.